Welcome. Today we are going to look at history paper one. Questions and answers. Section A, 25 marks. Question A. Give two reasons for the migration of the Bantu from their Krabi land. One, search for land for agriculture. Two, population pressure at the Krabi land. Three, they were looking for pasture for their livestock. Four, to escape from natural calamities such as drought and famine. Five, the outbreak of diseases forced them to migrate. Six, spirit of adventure. Question two, identify the main reasons why the Medikendo lived in Kaya's to guard against attacks or for security purposes. Three, state the new religious practices of the Agiko during the pre-colonial period. They practice ancestral worship. Two, they practice a new god that is lie. Three, they worship God in sacred places that were set aside for this purpose. Four, they offered sacrifices to God. Five, the divinely interpreted God's message. Question four, identify one Agiko leader who collaborated with the British. One, Karori of Gatkure of Morana. Two, Kinyanjiwa Gathiramu of Dagoreti. Question five, give one reason why African communities were settled in reserves during the colonial period. One, to create room for European settlement. Two, to facilitate the reservation of the White Islands for European settlement. Six, state one reason why the 1957 elections are important in the history of Kenya. For the first time, the Africans participated in elections. Seven, name the first African nominated member of parliament in colonial Kenya, Elwood Matho. Eight, name the Kenyan leader under whom the country joined the OAU, Jomo Kenyatta. Question 9. Name two trade unions Tongo was associated with during the colonial period. 1. Kenya Local Government Workers Union. 2. Kenya Federation of Registered Trade Unions. 3. Kenya Federation of Labor. Question 10. Give one reason why Jomo Kenyatta formulated the Harambe philosophy. To promote a sense of mutual responsibility in solving national problems, particularly disease, ignorance, and poverty. 11. Identify two ways by which Kenyan citizenship can be obtained by birth, by descent, by registration, by naturalization. Question 12. State two causes of personal conflicts. Incitement by outsiders or others. Inability to meet other people's expectations, violation of other people's rights, personality differences, differences in opinion, security threats, for example, in marriage or workplace. Question 13. Give two economic rights of a Kenyan citizen. One, right to equal pay for equal work, right to own property, Right to associate, for example, to belong to a trade union. Five, right to join professional organizations. Question 14. State two functions of returning officers in Kenya. One, to receive nomination papers from aspiring candidates. Two, to distribute ballot boxes, papers, and other voting equipment to the polling stations. Three, to supervise voting aid. Counting of votes in the constituencies. Question 15. Identify two members of the cabinet in Kenya. One, the president. Two, vice president. Head of civil service or secretary of the cabinet. The attorney general and ministers. 16. Give one function of the provincial administration in Kenya. Maintain law and order in the province. Coordinate development activities in the province. Interpret and explain government policies to the people. Link the central government and the people. Supervise government projects in the province. Administer the province on behalf of our president. Section B, 45 marks, 17A. 
It for the economic activities of the Maasai in the pre-colonial period. They practiced pastoralism, they traded with their neighbors, they practiced iron working, the quavi, that is a lecop, practiced agriculture, they raided cattle for, for neighboring communities, they practiced hunting and gathering. 17b describes the social organization of the Maasai in the pre-colonial period. The Maasai were organized into clans. Each clan had its name and cattle brand. They initiated the youth into adulthood through circumcision, which was performed at the age of 15 or 16 years. After initiation, boys became junior warriors, that is the Ilimuran. During initiation, they elected one member of their group to be their leader, Oleguanani. The Oleguanani was represented by the ceremonial club, that is Oika, to symbolize his status. The Oleguanini organized raids and shared the loot. The Ilimuran lived separately in Manyata where they were drilled in military techniques. Members of the same age set were in the same age grade up to 15 years. From junior warriors, they progressed to senior warriors and finally to senior elders. The Maasai believed in one God and Kai the creator of the universe. They offered prayers and sacrifices to Nkai in shrines. 18a state the grievances that the Asians in Kenya had against the colonial administration by 1923. Inadequate political representation. Exclusion from the White Highlands. Discrimination in the provision of social services. Question 18b what were the grievances of Africans against the government between 1920 and 1939? The Kipande system, which required all adult African males to carry identity cards, the system was racist because it was only Africans who were required to carry it. The Africans opposed to it because they felt that it was a way of ensuring that they continued to provide cheap labor in the settler farms. Two, the government had alienated African land and given it to settlers. Land alienation continued well into the 1930s. For example, after the discovery of gold in Kakamega, many Africans were displaced to enable the colonialists to exploit the mineral resources there. Three, the military Circulars of 1918 and 1919 required that all chiefs recruit African labor for settler farms. Some chiefs resorted to the use of force to obtain the required number. This explains why Africans were resistant and rebellious colonial chiefs. 4. Africans were forced to pay taxes. 5. Africans were opposed to the cut in wages in June 1921. African wages were cut by up to 30% in spite of the economic hardship resulting from the Great Depression. Six, the government's introduction of compulsory destocking campaigns in some parts of the country in the 1930s. The introduction of this in Ukampani caused discontent because their campus suspected that this was aimed at forcing them to sell their cattle cheaply at newly opened a river meat factory. Seven, the issue of female circumcision was yet another cause of discontent. Circumcised girls were expelled from mission schools and this led to the establishment of independent schools. Eight Africans were opposed to the colony status and preferred to be under protectorate. Nine Africans wanted to be allowed to vote for African representatives in the LECO. 19A 